By noon she arrived, Broccoli girl, the newest member of the Five Spices, ambassadors of the League of Freshness. Harbingers of good taste, they visited storage rooms throughout the world, spreading the teachings of spiciness. But this place was different. She had expected a welcome committee, yet all she was greeted with was a dank darkness. Something wasn't right. Then she encountered it. Rot. His advanced state made her gag, and refusing to open her mouth, panicking, she dashed for shelter in the nearest tupper box. Breathless, shocked, she tried to regain her composure. She knew what needed to be done. The reason why the League was cherished worldwide was because they were fighters of foulness and defilement. Broccoli God herself was a master of all tastes. The fleshy goodness of umami, the sting of soreness, saltiness to spice up any wound, sweetness like a mother's embrace, and the innate bitterness of Broccoli. After one final pledge to the League, the hunt for Rot was on. One day, when I was sitting at home, trying to connect why my life felt like a series of unconnected dots in space, I asked Broccoli Girl for help and she explained all about the process of cubic spline interpolation to me. When she turned to leave, I asked if I could call her if I needed more help. Almost out the door, this was all she said. Bro, call me any time. Hair was growing on all things once fresh, and sickly juices were flying through the air as Broccoli Girl commenced her duty. This was a case of final stage defilement. The League called it Protocol E, demanding swift and immediate extermination of any sign of rot. She encountered a few uncorrupted bits of food in Jelly Lady and Melon Man. This gave her hope. Maybe she could still save this place. She pushed forward past the squishy, flea-ridden overripe grapes, the infested mushrooms, and the moldy chicken ham sandwich. Always deeper into the contamination. Broccoli Girl and I once went to a bar, and even though I never saw her order anything, she always had a drink in front of her. Everybody that came in bought her a drink, for she was loved by all. When we left, I asked if she even had money on her. She only said, I've been broke all evening. On her way, she met a messenger from the League, notifying her that the past star, a senior member of the Five Spices, was near. That meant that the League was watching, evaluating her performance. She would show them what she was capable of. Maggots devouring everything from within, vicious flies and all other kinds of unwelcome wizards were wading deeper in, trying to compromise her Brockhole integrity. I do not know what caused things to end as they did. It may have been the continued exposure to the unabating onslaught of ever-worsening corruption whose crimson glow tainted everything she saw, or seeing those she had vowed to protect fall to the rut before her eyes, or even witnessing that which she had thought broke holy, her brethren, be devoured by the scourge. After dispatching the goulash, she broke the first rule of the League of Freshness. She entered the human world. First, she confronted the father, the drunkard, who had let the rot arrive in his home. He could rage and scream all he wanted, his pathetic grow tongues would never get a hold of her. The mother was next, the lazy harpy had rather bought takeout than cook at home. There was no freshness in her heart, and her overuse of spices to cover her terrible taste did nothing to protect. The son, the spoiled rat, living on burgers, fries and lies. Though live he would not for much longer. Broccoli girl whipped him, she pounded, smashed, she thrashed about the place like a broke hurricane. She set his wounds ablaze with purest spiciness and nothing, nothing would quench her righteous wrath. Once the deed was done, she opened her mouth for the first time since she had arrived, and she screamed. She screamed and screamed, and as of all broke manity wrote the breath she exhaled, her voice soon lost any semblance of Broccoli Girl. But she wasn't done yet. Upon her return, she set everything ablaze. Oh, Broccoli Girl, how could I have been so blind? I have been with you every step of the way, and yet I didn't act. I am the Reaper. Even I have fallen for her charms. Broccoli Girl, you are way past your prime. I should have cut you down much earlier. You told me to call you anytime, now I'm calling you to your grave. It's harvest time. We swing and claw at each other for hours, and unwilling to back down even an inch. But her broccoli powers are too strong for me. Soon, I am at her mercy. Sadly, 
that is a word she seems to have forgotten. Commanding my last dying breath to the wind, I witness the past hour descend from the heavens. But what happened next is a story for another time.